chilling today and we are going to be doing a brand new part of my sims 3 let's play the o'neill slash linkert family and i need to give you all an update on them because certain things have happened that i will explain throughout the episode and you're going to be shooketh to the core trust me shooketh so the last episode you probably saw was them in isla paradiso for their island vacation during the winter season however what i've realized is that i previously recorded an episode that somehow did not save on my computer and let me just say that um certain things have happened um alex matthew was out outside late at night doing his fun little thing meeting some friends trying to make some friends and let me just say he got caught he got arrested and he got grounded all in the same day and it was absolutely just not fun for him that he has the ability to one day sneak out of the house and meet someone new but what's crazy is that his father parker o'neill linkert caught him sneaking out arrested and grounded him and he has a wish to enroll alex into boarding school which in my mind i really don't want that to happen just because i feel like boarding school is just really not for for alex per se but if he goes down this path of being a rebel and wants to like just be very rude to his parents and just do his own thing it's going to result him into literally getting kicked out of the house to boarding school which is gonna be not good for him and i don't know if everyone has gotten their flu shot yet but i'm gonna have everyone just go and get their flu shot now alex already got his like last last night the part that i did not record also i don't want him to get grounded or again because I, I don't want that to happen but i do however want to go ahead and meet our grandparents because they're going to be dying soon and i don't want them to die so hopefully everyone's at home. Ooh, Liliana's here and DeAndre's here too. Ooh, what? What is that hairstyle? That looks crazy. Don't prank them. We're gonna go over here together. Actually, bring Gamora with you. That way we can take the whole fan bam. Uh, wh what? What? <laughs> oh my gosh, look at his face. Look at his face like, oh my gosh, whoa. It says, I don't think so, Buster, you're grounded. <laughs> It's like we can't even leave the house. It's a Sunday. But here's the thing. I posted a screenshot on Twitter or something. I forget what I did, but I think it was either Twitter or Twitch or Discord. I do not remember where I posted it, but I said something. And all I remember is that for some weird reason, Parker and Laura, my game did a glitchy glitch thing and it tells me that they are no longer married. Literally, Laura and Parker are no longer married. No partner relationship, no marriage, nothing of any kind, and they strongly dislike each other. And I'm thinking, what happened? How did this happen? And I realized that I forgot. Laura found out about Parker's secret love affair and kind of did a little spy investigation, secret, whatever, and found out what he was doing, confronted Parker. Parker denied every allegation. And he says, I would never cheat on you. You are my one true love. I love you forever and ever and ever. And then he asks, then she asks his past girlfriend. I forget what her name was. I think she was like part of some household, an iconic household. And she found out, she told her, that Parker did cheat on her the last time before they broke up. And let me just say, oh, it was Lisa Bunch. That's who it was. Yep. Parker O'Neill Lankert, ex-girlfriend, almost ex-fiance, Lisa Bunch, who looks like a hot mess with the green eyeshadow, red tank top thing, and low rye jeans in the winter time. These Sims need some help. But yeah, Lisa told Laura that she saw him at the park with some other lady and took some photos and it was just not ideal oh pablo hi and let's just say one thing led to another and they broke up and it just ended really really badly but they're saying they're staying in the same household for the sake of the kids but i think that parker might end up actually leaving the house and moving out somewhere else i'm thinking of having him move over to these apartments which i have no idea where they're at right now over probably over here in this section probably in this building or i might just go ahead and plop down or build my own apartment or townhouse for him to live in in sunset valley so he's close to the kids and everything but for the time being, I don't really see him staying in his house for a very, very long time. So probably the next couple of days, probably on Tuesday, most likely we'll have him leave. But I probably record that for another part because I'm like, I don't know what's going to happen this time. He snuck out of the house. What? Snuck out. The adrenaline, the fear. You better stay on the down low or your fanny. Your fanny will be on the line. Not the fanny. 
oh no, he snuck out of the house. I knew he was a bit of a rebel, a bit of a radio rebel, but I didn't know he was going to do that. Oh my gosh, we're going to talk to our uncle, express need to exercise, and then we're going to discuss cuisine. And can I sleep over here? Because I'm afraid to go home that I'm going to get my behind lit up because <laughs> I don't want to stay. Do not leave. Talk to your uncle. Can I stay over at your house? You got video games on your phone? Please let me stay over. Please let me stay over. Ooh, precious materials. Yeah, we'll have her do that for later. Please say yes. Please say yes. I feel like he's going to say no. He's our uncle, so he should say yes. <gasps> sure, make yourself at home. Thank the Lord. Let's hope he doesn't call our parents on us or our grandparents call our father saying, um, yeah, your son's here. He snuck out of the house. Can you pick him up, please? Because he's actually kind of crazy. So I think it's time for Laura and Parker to have a little bit of a chit chat together since they're no longer married or anything. I think it's time for them to do a little bit of a chit chat and get things sorted and ready to go. Because honestly, let me just say, things are going to end really, really badly where Parker gets kicked out of the house. Wake up, wake up, Neanderthal. It's time for you to get things straight because you are out of control. I'm going to have him argue because I'm like, how dare you accuse me of not loving you enough? How dare you accuse me of, you know, confronting me that I lied? Literally, it's all Parker's fault because he had to have a big old midlife crisis and had a want of wanting to divorce Laura and it actually happened. So we're going to berate his ignorance. We're going to argue with him, tell him he's a bad parent. He literally, he literally just does not care at all. He blames Laura for everything that has happened to his life. Breaking up his last relationship with Lisa Bunch. She is frozen, but also accusing her for the fact that he didn't really want kids to begin with. He never really wanted this like whole big happy family. He never wanted to get abducted. He never wanted to go on vacation. He never really wanted to see her ever again. But Laura didn't really force him into anything. He had, he, he fell in love. You can't blame him for falling in love. But like, the thing is like, he should not blame her for what he did. It's all his fault this family's falling apart. He's the reason why Alex is out of control, being a bit of a rebel and just wreaking havoc out of who knows what. So it's like, he's the one to blame. Can I kick him out? Cause secondly, we own this house. Laura was the first one in this household. She was the one who built it up from the ground up with her own money and everything. So he's, he shouldn't be talking. He's, he gotta get it, he gotta go. He gotta go. It's also kind of sad because Susie is technically the middle child of the family. And I think she's taking this the hardest where she feels like she's being ignored a lot between Parker rebelling out of who knows what, Gamora being a toddler and still learning new things. And the fact that Parker and Laura are divorced and no longer speaking to each other or very little. I think it, it has taken a toll on Susie's mental health and just well-being in general that she doesn't feel like she's wanted. And I don't really know if she'll ever like get over this sadness or not. Like even though she's like technically happy per se, I think all her life since she was a toddler, she always felt that she really wasn't being seen the way she wanted to be seen, you know? Like Parker cares for his children, but he doesn't care enough. And the only person that really kind of understood Susie was Alex. Like before, Alex and Susie were like the first two like human sims in the household. And they've always been like two peas in the pot, hanging out with each other every single day because they were on vacation together. And Alex taught Susie how to do peekaboo and kind of taught her how to like talk a little bit and walk a little bit. And even when Parker and Laura were at work, Alex was at home taking care of Susie and loving her and feeding her and washing her sometimes. And it was definitely kind of a, a bittersweet moment that she, that he cared about her. And I, I definitely want to make sure that um, Alex is always in Susie's life, no matter where he is in life, whether he's at boarding school or whether he's, you know, going to college, which is going to stay in the town regardless. Uh, I do want to make sure that he's definitely doing things right by his sister and being a good, like, big brother to her and um see where it goes i don't know i really don't know i'm just it's very excited <laughs> humiliated she lost a fight wait can we sue him wait a minute <gasps> can we sue parker because i know you can sue sims for slander in the sims 3 but it might have been a mod but i don't know but it's kind of crazy that we actually own this <gasps> we can rename it fire a sim wait lore no wake up go over here rename this please and you know what's funny laura actually was the one who bought the diner parker went in and like signed the papers and all but laura technically owns it because it's in her name she bought with her own money and simply parker owns nothing 
So I'm going to name this diner Laura's Fancy Diner. But if you have any name suggestions that I should rename it to, let me know down in the comments below because that way I can get all your ideas implemented into this Let's Play. But overall, this will be a placeholder for now. But other than that, Laura's Fancy Diner is up for grabs. So I think it's time for Alex to go and take a nap on the couch right now because he has school in a couple hours because he's kind of nervous and scared to go home because if he goes home, He's going to get lit up like a Christmas tree and chewed out by his parents for sneaking out, being grounded, breaking curfew, and doing who knows what else at this house, even though it technically it is his grandparents' house. He's still going to get lit up like a Christmas tree when he gets home tomorrow. The other thing that I was saying earlier, the part that didn't happen, that got lost in the void, we were going to a friend's house to go ask them if we want to go to prom with us. And that's when we got arrested for being out late, which is very sad. Chauncey, that's technically our, our cousin or whatever. But I want to go on a date or go to the prom with, I'm not really sure, but we're going to probably make some friends while we're there. And personally, I don't really know who we could go with, to be honest. Maybe Chauncey, not our grandmother. Oh, Dixie Merritt was the one that we were actually asking. Oh, you're taking your bike now. I see. But yeah, we might ask Dixie. I'm going to boost our relationship a little bit more. I'm going to cheat it. Susie, run like the wind. Oh my goodness. Susie is just walking at this point. It's like, I don't even care anymore. Go to school. You're like hours late to school today. Your mom's... What did I say? Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened? We're being scolded now. Because we're late to school. We're out past, we're, we're not out past curfew, but we're like hours late to school today. Three hours until the bell rings and we can go home. We're going to get grounded. We're going to get grounded again. It's like Susie, you know better than this. Now we got in trouble. You're in big trouble, young lady. You better not do that again. And maybe you should help around the house to get on my good side. Oh my gosh. Oh, let's go. Wait, beg for forgiveness, mom. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Please, I don't ever do it again. It's like, I don't know. It's like, I forgive you. It's okay. I know you're good. I know you're good. Okay, I can see that you're sorry. Just try to behave in the future, okay? We will. Okay, let's go to, go to, let's go to school. Let's go to school. We have a few hours left. Ma'am, also, why are you out of school? She knew her daughter was, was not in school, came out, and then scolded her. She's gonna go back in. She's gonna go back and work, please. Go back inside and work. We still snuck out from getting grounded. Great. We're gonna get busted and we're gonna be grounded for the rest of our life until we're like 40. We'll just wait and see. We're gonna be grounded until we're 40 years old. The boiler room. Oh, wait, the school's boiler room has begun to break down and somebody needs to fix it. However, the school's budget is already running low and they can't afford a professional repair technician. If you can fix the boiler before it steams over, the school will pay you for your time. Your school permits will also increase. Yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, for sure. Okay, we'll fix the boiler. Everyone's at work now, which is so crazy. Work hard. Actually, no, you need some friends. Yeah, you need some friends. Parker needs some friends after he gets kicked out, kicked out tomorrow. Wait, Alex's class is taking a field trip tomorrow to the Specter family mausoleum. Oh yeah, we'll go. Well, I should have said no, but you know, it's too late now. It's okay. But Laura's back from work. She's ready to go out and about, do some fun things. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Imagine if our if our mom saw us since like at school. I mean, granted, like we're going to school. We're learning it. We have an education. But I'm like, I wonder if she knows that we snuck out of the house again. I hope hopefully she doesn't know. Um, because that would have been very, very bad. <laughs> yeah, but let's go and fix the boiler room real quick. Susie's still in school, which is very good. Change jobs, sir. You got too many things. You have a midlife crisis in nine hours. I'll be over soon. He needs to calm it down. Jeez Louise, do not streak. Wait, what? Wait, you can't do that because children are nearby. Yeah, yeah, sir. Don't do that. No, no, do not. Uh, I don't think so. No, we're going to ask out um, somebody on a date. He doesn't know anybody well enough. Of course he doesn't. Of course he doesn't. We're going to go in and send a letter to Bella and then Pauline. And then we're probably going to go ahead and invite her out on some little fun vacation or date, I guess. Just because we can. I wonder if you can kick a sim out of your house if you're very, very mean. But maybe we should go ahead and declare Nemesis. We don't like him at all. I'm going to pay. I'm going to make him pay child support because he needs to. I mean, we have two kids in this household they're gonna be here for a long time why are you so sad parker huh <laughs> why 
why does this look so this oh this looks so funny laura's like mm. those shoes look ugly and then parker's over here is like mm. i feel old and sad you really are sad and old can't help you with that sorry he's like you know what that's it i'm leaving i'm getting out of here if you don't like me you don't want me then i guess i should just go ahead and move out then he's like fine go ahead move out well they are now enemies to the full extent they have three kids together or technically two kids together he already had a, one baby from an alien and so now it is time for him to move out let's see move what's in this neighborhood you know what if she doesn't like me she doesn't want me here i'm gonna go ahead and leave then oh my gosh an enemy the presence of of garbage would be preferred to that called me garbage oh wow we're gonna keep this household the same we're gonna kick him out he's gonna be in the family bin but we're gonna make him a new house regardless either way but we're gonna kick him out get out of here with your twelve thousand simoleon self this is gonna be a very this is gonna be very very hard for alex in the next coming years for sure i can definitely believe it actually something suddenly came up i can't make it sorry that's okay dixie that's okay this is, this is crazy oh, no please don't get caught please don't get caught please don't get caught we're here we're home we didn't we didn't sneak out we're fine good thing she's asleep or that would have been terrible scold him no 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 i didn't sneak out we're, i didn't i didn't do it i didn't sneak out no don't ground me please don't ground me she's gonna send me to boarding school i believe it that's it you're grounded young man don't even think about leaving this house what i'm gonna i can't even go to prom you know what i'm gonna risk it for the biscuit and sneak out for prom tomorrow i oh gosh literally my face right now is like what just happened i get grounded by my father i get grounded by my mo mother i can't go to prom it's like is she gonna chaperone the prom then like i really do not know i wonder if it's gonna be in a good relationship with them just to ask them the prom actually be, be protected mm. where is it at? i want to ask the pr i want him to ask him the prom so badly uh, go attend the prom i mean technically we, we don't really need a date per se we could technically just go alone we could really just go alone when you really really think about romance ask if he's oh, wait it's right here ask to prom wait let's do it let's ask him the prom let's ask him the prom let's ask him the prom will he say yes will he say yes I hope he says yes please say yes please say yes because if so i'm gonna give you a makeover because your hair is doing the uttermost please say yes please say yes what where are you going don't tell no 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 ask him the prom ask him the prom <gasps> he said no oh i don't know you well enough to get to go to go with you my dad probably won't let me go with someone like you what you've got to be what, what do you mean a, a someone like me what is that supposed to mean oh my goodness we're going to the prom alone then oh my gosh you know what ask to leave then ask to leave bye leave get out of my face i don't want to see you ever again i can't believe that just happened he also has a one to sneak out again you know we'll we'll probably do that tomorrow for our prom because we're sneaking out to go to prom. If it's the last thing that we do. If it's the last time that we're in this household as a teenager. Might as well go out with a bang and go to prom. And then get sent to boarding school after that. Because honestly, let's go ahead and risk it. What's the worst that could happen, honestly? What, what's the worst that could happen to us? Nothing. Let's just go ahead and risk it might as well but either way i'm gonna go and actually wrap up today's episode right here i do hope you all enjoyed it let me know down in the comments below as always on what we should name laura's newfound diner do you all think that um alex is gonna get sent to boarding school or not like let me know what you think because personally i think it could happen and it might be good for him it might not be good for him we'll just have to wait and see on how that all goes for him in the end result but overall like always i hope you all enjoyed it and i will see you all in the next video bye